Today, let's look at dynamic sitemaps and model-driven apps. So we're always trying to control what shows up on the left side over there. And so what it turns out is we can do that with security. So I'm not the Dataverse expert here, right? So I'm going to bring in my buddy Juan, who is going to give us just a quick look at this. Like It takes like five or six minutes. He's going to show you how to lock that stuff down so that you can control what shows over there. Sound like fun? Now let's switch over to Juan's desktop and take a look. We are within a model-driven app. And we have on the left-hand side, on the side map here, we have different tables. Question usually goes is, is there any way to dynamically hide or show what tables show up on the left-hand side for different users? For example, let's say you have a table here that should only be viewed by admins or those folks that have access to be maybe being able to create or delete records uh, from that table. In our sample here, we have a, a CRM, right? And I added an area here at the bottom, but let's say I have an admin area and within this admin area, I have a table called pet types. My scenario is only this folks or the people that have an, a role that allows them to create or modify records within this table should be able to uh, actually see it within their application dynamically. So I'm, I'm able to hide it and show it based on security role permissions. So as you notice here, I'm logged in as an admin and I have access to this area and I have access to the pet type uh, menu. But if I log in, for example, with a different user, let's say for example, Chewy comes in here. Chewy is not an admin. He should not be able to go ahead and create or modify pet types, correct? You'll notice here at the bottom that Chewy doesn't see the admin area or is not able to see uh, the pet uh, types table. So how do you make this happen within a model driven app? Let me show you. So I'm going to go back <clears throat> into my admin. I'm going to go and log in into, uh, you know, modify your model driven app. Correct. So as an admin in here, I'm going to go into the area in which I have that, that, that table, right? So I'm going to go into my area called admin. I'm going to go into that table on the right hand side under settings right here you're going to see something called advanced settings and something called privileges in here. So in here is where you can dynamically, you know, provide additional uh, settings and who should be able to see this menu, right? Based on privileges that they have on certain tables. So there's actually, you could do it two ways, right? You could do it based on table privileges or miscellaneous privileges. In my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this to show you how this is done. So at the bottom, click in here where it says add table privilege. And then select the table of the menu you're trying to hide. In my case, I'm trying to look at pet types. So I should have a table in here called pet types. I'm going to look for it. And here is pet type. All right, what I want to do is only those folks that will have access to creating records should be, so in this case, only those folks that have a, uh, a role that allows them to create records within the pet type should be able to see this menu here on your sitemap on your model-driven application. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply. You'll notice that it actually comes in here. If you don't, if you don't have an actual, you can also use mis, uh, miscellaneous privileges, right? Like other other things, you know. But quite honestly, I never use miscellaneous privileges because they don't really quite make sense. So, 100% of the time, what I need to do is dynamically. I will I will set it based on the table privileges. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this, and in the meantime, I'll show you a role that I created. So I have a security role called Bet CRM user, right? And within the pet CRM user, if I look for the pet type table, you'll notice that the pet type table, this user only has access to be able, being able to read uh, records from that table, right? They're, they don't have access to create, write, or delete. And what I do is I took this user security role and then I assign it to Chewy, right? So if I go into my admin center, if I look for Chewy, right? He has the pet CRM user. So he's inheriting the, the table privileges from the security role that was assigned to Chewy, right? So this is still publishing, right? But that's how, you know, once this publishes, you know, as an admin, I should still be able to come in here and see uh, the pet type, uh, you know, menu and area as a matter of fact. So if you have an admin area and you have a bunch of tables in here, you could, you could use this as a method to being able to have an admin area and a main application area all within the same application and then dynamically hide or show who gets to see those menus based on those table privileges that you set um, here when you're setting up your model driven app. Okay, so this already published, you see in here that it says pet type, only the people have access to create 
will have access to this menu called pet types. So again, if I go back to Shui and I do a hard refresh, he will still not be able to see uh, that menu. And this might take a little bit of time since I just published this application. So I'm going to refresh one more time. So you'll notice that Chewy doesn't get to see the admin area at the bottom uh, while my admin user, right, comes in here. I'm going to refresh, right? He's an admin has access to creating records in the pet uh, pet types. He's able to see the, uh, you know, the area plus the tables within the area. So this is how you dynamically are able to show or hide tables from your sitemap or from your table navigation dynamically in a model-driven application. Uh, hope you guys learned something and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you. Thank you Juan for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you do enjoy this style of learning, remember Juan has got a one day Dataverse jumpstart class coming up here in just a couple weeks where Juan is gonna spend all day just showing you the ins and outs of Dataverse going over security, how to control things, solutions, packaging, just making sure that you've got your head completely wrapped around the Dataverse. So if that sounds fun, like head over to training.powerapps911.com and you can sign up over there. And with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day.